Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Whoa, uh, sorry about that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right, so let's get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so, Sag, um, there's the element of uh, breakup or breakdown in communication or separation. Somebody separated from something, from you, from a connection, from the house. Somebody could have ran away from the relationship or actually, like, physically moved out of the home. Okay? Um, this could be you. This could be... Somebody else, somebody ran away from either connection, relationship, or both. Like, uh, I mean, connection or, or the home, or both. Like, I don't want the relationship. I don't even want to live here anymore. And they are going the opposite direction. It looks like they're trying to go in the direction of something that they feel like they lost, or someone that they lost. Um, this person could... They could be trying to get away from this relationship or they were trying to get away from this relationship for a while with the Seven of Swords here. And then the Knight of Swords. Somebody's definitely trying to recover. This is the knight you send out uh, who knows how to use his words. He knows how to in intellectualize uh, situations, um, dynamics, just scenarios. He knows how to try to sway people uh, by way of his words or her words. So it's like, this is when you're trying to recover something, recover a situation, trying to gain followers or suitors, or you're trying to get someone on your side or at least see your perspective. Somebody is trying to do that. But whomever they're running to is uh, the Queen of Swords. She's kind of over it. And um, you're going to have to come to her with a very compelling argument. Because she already knows the truth. Though she feels like, you know, all opinions and all statements are valid, she knows the truth. She's also practicing a level of, I want new life, new phase, new lease. So I've got to cut out the old. So... She's not afraid to get rid of and shift her own dynamic. There could be somebody who was still trying to give to a connection. They were trying to flatter with their words. They were trying to sway. They were trying to get, you know, um, sweet nothings, all of that stuff. But it just took them to a place of, you know, Understand that this possibly is over. Um, nine of Swords. They have to rest in that sea of thoughts and emotions. They no longer can rub from the fact that this is at a breaking point. It can be recoverable. Um, but, I'll, you know, you have to have a willing party. You can't just, you know... Um, Make someone do something. I'm seeing that somebody runs out of the home every single time the other person comes home or they try not to be there or they don't have anything to say. It's just a, there's a great and huge disconnect. Somebody is over it. They're out of it. They want to be out of it. Somebody is making the other person feel like the five of pentacles. Neglected, in, neglected ignored, shut out, shunned. They have lack of confidence now in themselves and, and in this relationship. And it's all because maybe this King of Pentacles here feels like there is another significant relationship elsewhere. There's something of significance with maybe another person, place, or thing. This person also could be putting their job or their career or their business or something with money matters over this relationship. They're choosing what they love um, versus, you know, um, what they, or what they love to do. Hold on. I'm 
this person may be seeing that um, some other relationship is significant. Some other union or partnership is significant. And they're trying to, somebody's trying to recover something. They're definitely trying to recover here. And uh, there's a wife here too. But somebody's trying to get to something or someone else outside of the connection. They're trying to have the courage to actually make that move. The courage to do that. Even though they're in, they could be in this place too. Uh, that it's all lost. Is it all gone? Are we really dying? You'd be dealing with a Piscean person. Gemini. Gemini coming up heavy. Somebody got put out of the home. Someone is leaving a home. Somebody just says, I don't want to be here. Somebody just doesn't want the frustration, the argument. There's no communication within the cards except for someone trying to be nice and someone's trying to be loving and flattering or courteous or whatever. Somebody's not even receiving it or being receptive to it because they're trying to get somewhere else with someone else. Somebody's trying to recover something. There's a connection or relationship or person or place or thing or real estate. Somebody could be in real estate. Someone's trying to recover some real estate or recover, do some recovery work on their real estate or something of that nature to where their focus is not this relationship. And even after they do whatever they need to do, their focus still won't be this relationship. Somebody's seeing that something is significantly over. Somebody is definitely sneaking around, sneaking out, being very sneaky, very deceptive, covert about their affairs. But it looks like it's going to come to light that this person wants to be in another home, another relationship, and they possibly could possibly want a divorce or separation. Somebody's intuition will be speaking to them too about what's going on. Someone no longer wants the relationship. Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the next 72 hours. If it resonates for you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. You can donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Take care, guys.